it's Ken Sheets with Coolest Tech Ever. I'm here with Jason Stiles and uh, we're going to be talking about his amazing new iTaurus product. So All right. I thought we'd start with the guts of the operation here, what powers these beautiful things that we'll get into in a minute. Mm -hmm. So why don't you take us, walk us through what, what you get when you buy one of these. You get this box, yeah, right? So Which is really nice. When you open up your box, you get this in the mail, you're going to have a hard case, a waterproof hard case. A Taurus on top, whether or not you get the Aqua Aura version, the Amethyst, the full color spectrum, there's 11 different options on the You have side. a lot of options. You're very creative with this work. It's amazing. So this is, it comes hooked up to the amp and there's a, a magnet in here wow. and you'll just pull that out. And you can pull your whole rig out and set it down. Okay. Well, that's a beautiful carrying case. We'll just move that aside. Okay. <clears throat> so you have an amplifier that powers yeah. this. Yeah. There's 120 watts per channel. And this just plugs right into the socket. Let's go ahead and... It just uses a regular two-prong plug. I know it's an antenna on the back here. This is oh yeah, so this amp does a lot more than just power these coils. You can play radio through it. Uh, it's Bluetooth capable. Wow. And SD cards. Plug right in. USB. Uh, so we are ready to go. All you got to do when you get your amp plugged in is plug in your audio device. So this doesn't come with an audio device. It's designed as a kit, you plug in your phone, your computer, mm -hmm. a CD player, whatever you have that you want to play audio through. And the aux cable here will plug right into a headphone port. Oh, you have an iPhone there, an Android, what do you got there? This is an iPhone uh -huh. 7, so, so have you have this little adapter you need to be able to plug in, yeah, okay. Okay, so I have several different apps that I recommend and this one here is called the iFunction Generator. And you can plug in multiple frequencies manually. So I, <clears throat> I recommend a few different apps on the manual and then I have certain frequencies on the website you can play straight from. The Sound Lounge page with the chocolate frequencies. Beautiful. Um, there's the earth-based frequencies, there's the sounds of the sun, audio sounds of the sun, and um, the Schumann frequencies. The uh, chakra frequencies are very unique. Um, Jamie Buter created those, and they had some studies done, um, and that's linked on the actual Sound Lounge page as well. So, with these two devices, then the powers up the. You know, I've got a couple of variations here. It only does one at a time, of course. And you brought this beautiful one with you today. Can you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about it. Oh, this one's made with Aqua Aura quartz. Quartz, it gets embedded with 24 karat gold through a bonding process in a vacuum chamber. So it introduces um, extreme heat and pressure and then they pump in some gold vapors and that bonds molecularly to the quartz. So you have um, an inductor combined with a inductor, conductor and inductor effect. So Does that give you it the amplifies the field? quartz field. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, inside the, the inside the torus behind the quartz is actually selenite, so hmm. it's full of selenite as well as aqua aura quartz. And the idea is to broadcast the energies of the crystals um, into its was it twenty foot radius. Yeah, the quartz and then the different mineral selections. Hmm. You have that frequency that's being embedded into the field as well because this this will put out about a twenty four foot diameter field measurable with hmm. a cheap trifold meter. Mm-hmm. Well, let's give it a try. Let's okay, so, uh, it on. so you just pick a frequency, let's say 432, that's a good crown chakra frequency. So you can hear it slightly playing there. Yeah, that's the vibration it's on there. It's vibrating off the amp, mm -hmm. and then if we put it here, it's going to vibrate on this table. Mm -hmm. And if you put a magnet in the center, it's going to vibrate even more. Switch. That's awfully loud. If you switch that off, and let's try 36 hertz. That's wow. awfully loud. 
<laughs> Let's put it over onto the leather over here. Let's move it over here. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. It's pleasant. <laughs> A little more pleasant, yeah. So 25 hertz was that one. Let's go 36. Wow, oh, you can really feel it. And, you, and with the magnet, you can really... 36 is um, a frequency that tends to vibrate and levitate this magnet pretty well. 25 to 36 will catch the magnet right in the sweet spot. Um, and then you have various different options to play. So this is essentially like two speakers plugged into an amplifier. Frequencies of choice, therapeutic frequencies work best. Music tend, doesn't tend to spin the field very good, so you want to stick with like frequencies that are... What about binaural beats or binaural some of the beats Flanagan frequencies that he's made? Yeah, we use some of Dan Winter's frequencies mm -hmm. and Patrick Bode's frequencies called uh, Flamin', Flamin' the Mind app or Flamin' Sound app, which is a cheaper version, but they're binary frequencies. And those are implosion frequencies. So this is an implosion coil or a vortex coil. And those frequencies we like to use because they're implosion frequencies. Uh, so they're, um, they take the smallest integer of Planck length mm -hmm. times integers of golden ratio. So Planck length times integers of golden ratio and it scales out to like a galactic scale. Mm -hmm. And those, are, those have been found really beneficial. Um, they call them bliss frequencies. What inspired you for something like this? How did you, what, what was the evolutionary process to come to all this beauty here we have today? Well, the <coughs> Rodin coil um, started with Marco Rodin when he open sourced the vortex based mathematics um, to the world. And uh, everyone that got a hold of this information started finding different applications for it. And Randy Powell, one of his protégés, found a way to wrap that mathematical formula around a toy donut. And that's what started the grassroots movement of the rodent coil. Mm -hmm. So I was inspired with that. Jamie Buterf was the next fellow, one of my friends. He was using the rodent coil for healing applications. And I was in the process of using pyramids as healing applications. And go even further back from that, I had to fall out of a helicopter 60 feet to kind of go down this path of finding alternative therapy. You, you served in the military. Right, I was in the Air Force on a pararescue team and suffered, um, broke both my legs, compressed my spine, and in a previous accident before that, I had my arm almost chopped off by a helicopter blade. So um, when I came out of that service, I was taking pain pills and antidepressants on a regular basis and decided to um, find alternative means of healing therapies. So pyramid energies it was what I found first and then I came across the rodent coil and Jamie Buterf was using these for healing applications. And there's a story on YouTube where he used one of these basic rodent coil designs and played certain frequencies like the ones, the chakra frequencies on the website. Um, the guy had a third degree burn right here on his stomach and the doctors thought it would take about two years and three, three skin grafts to heal. And they healed it in a matter of 32 days. Wow. Just by using frequencies and the rodent coil. I can feel it all the way out to here with the uh, ball wanting to bounce out of my fingers. That's really interesting. But right here it's like, whoa. You can even hear it. <clears throat> Yeah. So then, healing frequencies. Yeah, and then, <clears throat> then most of the collective are using the rodent coil applications to try to find alternative energy, um, free energy sources. We're not quite there yet, but there's a lot of people working on this technology to implement towards um, zero point technology and free energy. Mm -hmm. uh, a big one is Erica and Daniel Nunez. There um, was another big inspiration to me. Um, I've kind of adopted all these um, grassroots movements and created my own unique mounting system with um, an eco-friendly, it's a eco, it's a plant-based eco-poxy embedded with quartz, different minerals to choose from, like the amethyst and the Aurolite 23. Oh, it's beautiful. 
and then the shungite. So do you crush up the amethyst then? And these are a points. Powder or? These are points, amethyst yeah. points, uh, hand placed in each oh my. panel. Mm. And these are crushed. This is a shungite base, magnetite, black tourmaline. It's the three main base elements. And then all the chakra colors crushed up into one powder, blended up. And then you have here, this is the aura, angel aura. It's embedded with platinum and silver. Mm, Someone starting out with uh, these devices, uh, besides healing, let's say it's someone who just wants to use it for other purposes. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other benefits of this technology? Uh, well, they actually create a biofield. So this field that we are existing in right now is about mm -hmm. 24 feet in diameter. Um, that we can measure with a Can you feel it off meter. camera over there, cameraman? <laughs> so that's really good for um, facilitating the biological processes in the body. It helps charge up the body. Actually, P PEMF ther therapy, the pulsing electromagnetic field therapy, has found to increase ATP production in the cell, in the mitochondria. Um, there's a plethora of benefits of PEMF therapy that have already been found discovered the FDA has approved PEMF therapy for speeding up bone fusions, um, treating severe depression. Yeah, well, the three things they've approved it for, mm -hmm. treating severe depression, bone fusions, and post-op pain and swelling. Oh. There's several doctors out there that are like treating cancer with this, but with PEMF type devices, and using it to discover other means of uh, applications. I hear it commonly referred to as a pimp machine. Pimp, yes. And those can run ten to fifteen thousand dollars, can't they? They can. And yeah, these are all 20. in the two thousand dollar. Yeah, yeah. You know, they start around eleven hundred and they go mm -hmm. up to two thousand, mm -hmm. hopefully. So it's a very inexpensive way to get your hands on a pimp machine. This is unique because it's creating the a phase conjugate field, which is a, a vortexing field where all the waves converge into the center here. And when they converge, they actually they follow a golden ratio pattern. And they're going counterclockwise and clockwise. And when they meet in the middle, they create a longitudinal wave, a scalar wave, which has benefits outside of PIMF. That's a whole other territory that we were talking about. I'm talking quantum wave. now, yeah. Well, Lieutenant... Colonel Bearden was in the Air Force. He was in the military. I think it was, maybe it was the Army, actually. And he was um, studying scalar waves. And for the military, obviously, they're using it for different reasons. But his, he spent a lot of his life advocating the healing applications for scalar waves. <clears throat> and one of his quotes was, they actually have the potential to time reverse damaged cells back to a healthier state. We're taking a damaged cell, a cell that's out of coherence, and bringing it back into coherence. So it's time reversing it back into coherence. So the coherent field here is going right through our body. So a lot of people that sit in this field experience, they feel it in their injury site. So that injury site is something that's out of coherence, right? Mm. So it's kind of intuitively working on that area. Beautiful. But the sweet spot is coming straight out of here, out of the center. So I, I tend to put it right over the injury side, wherever I need some um, uh, pain relief, if you will. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there's uh, applications for meditation. You can play the chakra frequencies um, and you can sit with this. A good place to put it would be under your chair or above your head, so you're right in the line with the toroidal field, because your aura is a toroidal field itself, so yes. you can generate that inertia within your toroidal field and start to uh, find like a, a zero point, a, s a stillness in mm -hmm. your meditation mm -hmm. a lot faster. Very good. Well, we love that, because we began as a meditation project. That's well, these, cool. these are uh, definitely <clears throat> a tool to facilitate in meditation. The scalar waves themselves are, are something that we create when we go into extreme focus. 
in our meditation and our thought process. We create scalar waves, longitudinal waves. And that is essential when we start to deal and talk about spiritual skills, spiritual abilities, like remote viewing, astral projecting, um, telepathy, healing. Um, we use that internal technology mm -hmm. to do those type of things. So this type of tool will help train the body and train the field and the mind to get into that um, coherence a lot faster. Yeah, if we go... Uh, now these you frequency. also mount up in the top capstone of the pyramids you build. One of our um, flagship products is putting it in the pyramid itself. Mm -hmm. So it's going to... Pyramids help with meditation. Of course we have a lot and of Flanagan gonna... fans at Coolest Tech ever and Pat's the author oh, of great. Uh, Pyramid Power. I think you've... Yeah. Uh, I started, started out reading book. some of Patrick yeah. Flanagan's books on Pyramid Power. Yeah. So it's really great uh, for our audience because Patrick's uh, pyramid maker uh, passed away a few years ago. So it's really yeah, it's very so going to be an honor to have your pyramids up on the website. And those are Definitely at a scale honor. of quality that are on par with these. Uh, I mean, they're they're the most remarkable quality I've ever seen. They're 24 karat gold plated uh, copper tubes. Mm -hmm. We have that option. We have mm -hmm. 24 karat gold plated. There's the silver plated. There's a, and then the base copper tubes, and then we're also working on a five-sided five pyramid. Mm. That's gonna come out soon. Um, Patrick Flanagan himself might be interested in that one. Oh yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Absolutely, he's still. I'd love to make him re recuperating down there in Ecuador. Well, thank you so much for coming by, Jason. Yeah, I'm honored to be here, and thank you guys for watching. All right, thanks. Mm.